Hello everyone. Um, I promised to show you what it was going to look like when it was finished and um, here it is. Well it's not completely finished and I don't know what I did wrong but I don't like these spaces in between and I don't know if I'm going to cover them up or not but yeah that's that's what it looks like and here's the the little beads that I put on as little handles. They're so cute. I had to do some adjusting because I goofed up some measurements and some th these two drawers here are a little bit hard to open but um, I'll show you what I've put in here these are some painted gauze I said I was going to put in all my handmade ephemera um, these are um, three inches three inches I think they're called these are tags that have to be done these are um, envelopes that are made by hand, little uh, little envelopes. And I got it packed full too much. These are um, bases for ATCs. Fly no butterflies, sorry, butterflies done with napkins. Um, see what I mean? <laughs> Flowers and you know other. And here we have um, I, 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 the little images that I really like. I've been putting them on cardstock and kind of making a border around them. And, you know, they, they, they show more. These are all taken from um, encyclopedia sets that I have that are just beautiful. They're all black and white pictures. Here I have um, miscellaneous. There's um, feathers that are done with um, Prismas and there's some clogs that are done with baby wipes and things like that. Uh, other big clogs here done with baby wipes. Beautiful effect. Here I put the baby wipes on a piece of paper and then I cut them out with the, the big shot. Oh, there we go. And here are, I can't remember what, oh these are owls and elephants that are all done as well too with or baby wipes or prismas. There's an elephant. They're on sticker paper. And then, now I'm not showing the edges because they're not finished. What happened was that um, with what's going on naturally, I'm not going to go out and buy white paint. I can't go out and buy white paint. So I, hold off, I held off of it um, to save up the white paint that I do have. And I'll do this after. I'll, I'll finish painting it after. But on the edges here, I just put some trimmings, two different types of trimmings. And then the rest of it's going to be painted all white. So it's going to be pretty much. Um, and I might add to this. I might add some gesso pieces. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. But because I'm not having white paint, I didn't continue doing it. And then on top here, I put these little sliding drawers. So in here I have... Um, big ATCs. I got to fix this drawer. These were inspired by Cat Hand. So I got, um, I'm sorry, not big ATCs. <laughs> big ATCs. <laughs> um, big takes. Um, here I have stamps. And this is the only one that opens up like that. And then this one opens up as a drawer as well too. So something will be going in there as well. And then I'll, it'll be all decorated according to what's underneath. <clears throat> That's my little house where I keep um, all my stencils. I've organized my stencils in these folders. And, you know, they're all named so that way I can find them. These are small stencils and then I have bigger stencils in another place. So, yeah, my little house that I made a long time ago. I actually have another one. I'll give you a pan of the room. There's still a lot to do here. Um, because this big piece of furniture was in the corner and I did not like it. I did this video in August, the last video I did of the room in August, and you could see where it is in the corner. And it just took up too much space. So what was I going to show you? Oh, the, the other house is up there, which is empty. That used to be for stamps, but um, it, it, it had been a long time since I um, put stamps in there because I really didn't find it that all great for um, storage. And um, I said that I was going to show this new piece of furniture that I got from my husband's store. In fact, you could see the sides of it, it says Mosaico. 
and in here was a, it was a display for glass tiles which um, <clears throat> um, he they, they took it away because it was taking too much space in the office and they moved all these tiles in the downstairs part of the store so yeah and my son brought it to me now on top there's all these glass um, plastic compartments where um, they had tiles and also it moves it has wheels on the bottom and then we have these three drawers which in here I put all my um, uh, mixed media stuff soft clothing closing doors as well <laughs> in here I have silks and um, I think there's even glitter in here silks and glitter and um, uh, uh, mica powders and things like that as well too and then in here I have extras um, all my stamparia paints and the um, PBO paints and then some deco art paints which are in big bottles here um, my other deco art paints these I oh my god they're about 15 years old and and like they have lasted so long um, I continuously open them up and just add a touch of um, a touch of water of uh, distilled water so that way I could keep it up and as you can hear it's a nice liquidy paint which really nice paint I use this for furniture this type of um, paint from deco art um, there used to be a store here in town that sold it so yeah and there is another part now, like I said, um, this, I was trying to find a way to take it apart, but then I thought, you know what, um, instead of trying to ruin this piece of furniture, the top of it as well, um, as I, I could have put another topping on this, actually, I thought of making a cover for it with hinges, you know, getting my ingenious son to help me out because he can figure things out so good. And then I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to take advantage of these compartments and I put in some, um, for now, I'm going to be putting in some stuff that I use often, you know, like glue and white paint and things like that. I still have a lot of empties. I can even use this for paper ephemera I was thinking of. But um, I don't know. It's like when I redid this, what, I just removed furniture around. I didn't add anything except for this piece of furniture here. And it's like nothing's fitting anymore. Like what did I do wrong? <laughs> that wasn't like that. That wasn't packed full like that. And I don't know. <laughs> Taking things out and putting them back in. It wasn't like this. So I have some stuff that I have to you know, find homes for. There's a lot of stuff up on there. That shelf in front of the window. And there's some stuff here as well too yeah a few pieces have been changed if you're interested to see how it was before and now you know it's I'm not doing a room tour I'm just showing this piece of furniture so coming around the other side of this piece it's very interesting take my card away it's very interesting because there's two big shelves in here and they're you know going all the way halfway back to the piece of furniture there so there is nothing wasted in this thing and here I put all my dies and down there I have um, some uh, two sewing machines which was the perfect place for them because I was constantly moving them around putting them in the cupboard it was um, they were fitting really really tight and I didn't like that I had to squeeze them out so that's a perfect spot for them and like I said these are all my Sizzix dies and what's really interesting is this as well too so I could put pop my Sizzix on top of here if I wanted to and just you know get the dye I need and and I'm good to go and you know I'm keeping my work surface clear you know <clears throat> so like I said in here I um, so far have put my stamps and I had these organized like this before but I just had them in wooden boxes and now I have them here I kept the you know these big pieces here that are all jelly prints and things like that and these are all the stamps that I own they're more than enough more than enough I know I get tempted sometimes and I buy new ones like these are probably my last buy of stamps so oh I haven't bought things for a longest time I've spent money on sewing products but not on mixed media products so this is going to be 
a really cool thing. And, you know, I'm always thinking of making something to cover at least half of the top. It could always be useful, you know, and, and what's underneath can keep clean. So, yeah, and um, I'll show you where my desk is. It's in the corner now. And I took the middle drawer out there to put the where I keep my camera, where I hold my camera or my webcam when I'm recording. And that I had taken all apart, put it back there again because I thought I would put all the paints in this piece of furniture and actually it looked really nice. But um, I thought to myself, why? Why? Like I had been debating on this piece of furniture for the longest time. That's another piece that was used at the store. It was um, to display faucets. So every shelf had a different faucet. And it also has wheels. The back of it is useful for, you know, long things. I have um, big digobage papers in there and, and dowelings and all these things here. Things that are long. And right now I have them scattered in the room because I took them out to make that. So here I have these two bookshelves. This is all sewing. There's a mess, you guys, here. Because I have to still take care of all of that, which is all, you know, in the paper section. And this is all paper. So, yeah, I've changed things around and it's like I can't fit things in where. So I'm still really organizing more. Um, I haven't been in here for a few days. So um, I kind of this morning I did a bit more. Yeah, and I got baskets and baskets of magazine clippings that I have to organize. And I was watching actually a video of Diane Fa Fa Fago, I think she's called Fago Fago. I can't, I can't, I don't know the pronunciation. And she is an amazing artist for magazine clippings. And I love magazine clippings as well too. And there's lots and lots and lots of magazine clippings there. Um, I had just recently got about rid of about a hundred magazines, so I went through all those magazines before, um, you know, selecting what I wanted and what I didn't want, and got rid of them because they were taking up the whole bottom shelf. So yeah, my desk is in this corner because it was in the middle of the room before, and I wasn't really receiving that much light. As you can see, the room isn't all that bright. It's not all that bright because halfway underneath there, you could see that there's a covering. My sister covered some of her porch area outside. And so it kind of blocks a bit of light. But it, it's always the morning as well, too. Here in the afternoon, it floods in with light, especially in the summer. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, and I did have to show you. I'll turn around really slow. <laughs> I did want to show you this piece here which I have um, some dies in there as well too and um, I recent I had this piece of furniture painted like that in all these pastel colors and then I added all that um, stenciling on it and you know I made the stenciling continue from one drawer to another because so I set them all up and everything and I really love this little piece it was a CD holder which it uh, dies fit fit perfectly. I just want to buy new knobs and I want to get those type of knobs that have the little tag insert. So um, that's on, you know, on hold as well too, not important. Right now I just put those wood knobs on the, it used to have little um, metal where you would put your finger in and pull and they were pretty too, but I would prefer something with, t and it had, I'm sorry, it had the little metal poles and it had little tag holders as well too but these little tank tag holders when I took them off they got ruined like they weren't coming out of this piece of furniture so some of them are bent and, and things you know and as you can see in that yellow one there's a big hole too which I'm hoping will be covered up with new knobs but yeah that's on hold as well too and this fits perfectly there's like I said there's still a lot of you know things that aren't in its own place and um, yeah I've been I've been wanting to do some general cleaning in um, these, you know, staying home. Well, I'm always at home, but I'm finding it really difficult, you guys, because everybody's home and, and it's not easy to sit there. And, and plus the weather, it's been raining, which, you know, we love the rain here in Sicily. And yeah, so I'll just give you another look at this one. I love this and it moves with such ease. It took three people 
to get it off of the car and and put it um put it in the car and then take it out of the car it is um piece of furnishing all by itself so heavy and it had to be to hold all that weight of the tiles so yeah it's a really good piece and i'll be decorating this any suggestions or any suggestions on better um uh speta on better organization so that's about it you guys until the next time bye bye